What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. Of course the Alpha did end yesterday, but I saw a lot of questions on different social media outlets about when the beta begins, what platforms the beta will be on, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to link all this down in the description in case you need to come back and check these dates and you know, platform information, that kind of stuff. But starting on uh, the first weekend, this is, this is going to be for PS4 only. This is going to be one of those exclusive deals, again, they've done with PS4. I'm not a big fan of any game, no matter what it is, doing these exclusive deals where one platform gets something before the other. I wish they would not do this, but unfortunately they have done this again. So Weekend 1 is going to be for PS4 only. Early access will begin on October the 8th. How you get early access, of course, is pre-order the game. So if you have pre-ordered the game, you can play the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War beta on October the 8th. If you have not pre-ordered the game, you can play the open beta on October the 10th on PS4. The beta weekend ends on October the 12th. So if you have pre-ordered the game, you'll be able to play from the 8th to the 12th of October. If you have not pre-ordered the game, you'll be able to play from the 10th to the 12th on PS4. Then when it comes to weekend two, uh, PS4 will be at open beta the whole weekend. So from the start to the end, you'll be able to play on PS4 in an open beta. But if you're on Xbox One or PC, early access, so once again, if you have pre-ordered the game, you can start to play on Xbox and PC on October the 15th. The open beta for Xbox and PC will begin October the 17th, and the Weekend 2 beta wraps up on October the 19th. So for PS4 that weekend, you can start playing from the 15th to the 19th. It will be an open beta for anyone on PS4. Like I said, Xbox and PC uh, on the 15th will have the early access for two days. And then, we'll, then it will open up to everyone on Xbox and PC on October the 17th, and it will run through October the 19th. So we're going to have two weekends back to back. It's kind of sad, in my opinion, that PlayStation gets, you know, access one weekend and then gets access the whole second weekend for an open beta. I wish they would have done both, you know, uh, both weekends would have really had all the platforms. Uh, just done exclusive, you know, one weekend for all three platforms. And then just done open betas for, you know, the end of Weekend 1 and all of Weekend 2. But sadly, like I said, that's not the case with the exclusive deal that Sony and Activision have this year. I'm hoping in the future that's all going to end. That way everyone can hop in and play the beta. Because I know everyone's kind of excited, they did enjoy the game. I know some people out there did not like it. But I'm very uh, interested to see what changes between the alpha and the beta. I'm interested to see what exactly this game is going to kind of turn into. I'm interested to see what fixes were made between the alpha and the beta because I did make a video the other day talking about some things I liked about the alpha and some things I really didn't like about the alpha, some things I hope to see change during or the time we have, you know, kind of have between alpha and beta. I know that a lot of the changes were probably already made before we even got to play the alpha because they already talked about making a lot of changes after the big reveal event. And of course, the reveal event, they played pretty much the same um uh, kind of stage of the game and the alpha that we played during this alpha weekend on PS4. So hopefully some of these changes will be implemented and we can see kind of what the final product of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is going to be. Because after the last weekend, of course, you know, we're looking at not even what about a month after the October the 19th, after that weekend two ends uh, on October the 19th, the game will be out kind of towards the middle of November. So we're going to have a game out pretty quick after the beta is over. So hopefully all these changes can get kind of come to the beta and then a lot of these changes can come either most likely in a day one update once the game is released. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.